Okay, for the next piece of our roller coaster, we're going to make a hill valley. So I need you to take an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock and fold it in half. Crease it, and then you're going to cut along that fold, and you will be left with two pieces of paper like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold this into three parts. So I'm going to take my first edge and I'm going to meet it in the middle. I'm going to crease it. I'm going to unfold it. And now I'm going to take this edge and meet it with the crease I just made. Okay, now we have three sections of our um, hill valley, and you're going to cut segments in each of the railings. Okay, so um, if you want a steeper hill and valley, then you would make a lot of segments. I'm not making that many in mine today. So I've made my segments on one railing and I'm going to do it on the next one. They don't have to line up exactly, but it is helpful if they line up somewhat. I'm just eyeballing it. So you can see how they line up, not exactly, but pretty much. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the middle and I'm going to um, decide which end I want my valley and which end I want my hill. So I'll go ahead and make this end the valley. Um, so if this is the center, then I'm going to have this side be the valley. Elise, you have to be quiet, please. <laughs> so you're going to go ahead and just like when you made your curve, you're going to do that same thing on both sides. And then on this side, I'm going to have my hill. Now the hill is a little bit tricky because your segments are going to be separated. So for this, I want you to take the inside of your railing first. And then we're also going to take the outside. So the tape will kind of become a part of your railing. And you'll hold your marble on the inside. So I'm putting the tape on the inside first. The more space you have in between each segment, the curvier it's going to be. Okay. So I just taped this inside. I'm going to meet that tape with other tape on the outside just to hold it in place better. Now I'm going to do the other side. Now you want to have them equal distances apart. So if I had one side this far apart, then I want its corresponding side to be that far apart too. Now this is going to go 
the middle of your roller coaster. Um, I mean, kind of like in between the supports, not necessarily in the middle. You know, you could have it at the beginning or the end, but it's going to be in the middle, um, taking your marble from one end to the other. Um, you could definitely attach another segmented piece that you did, and you could make it, you know, even bumpier. You could go hill, valley, hill, valley. That would be cool. And I like working on the hills and the valleys first before you mess with the middle. Okay, that's just easier. So now that I've got my hill done, I'm going to go ahead and the middle just kind of forms itself. And I'm going to that up. Okay, and here is my hill and valley track.